subscribe to pravin bosle youtube channel and press the bell icon for the latest video updates so let's start today with a new topic that is lactose metabolism in lactose metabolism three enzymes are playing a very very important role first is permease second one is beta galactosidase and third one is trans acetylase let's study the function permease does the entry of lactose in the cell beta galactosidase it breaks lactose into glucose and galactose trans acetylase is does the transfer of acetyl group from acetyl coenzyme a to beta galactoside now the three structural genes which are very very important in lactose metabolism z y and a z genes codes for the enzyme beta galactosidase y gene codes for the enzyme permease whereas a gene codes for the enzyme trans acetylase now if lactose is present three structural genes plays a very important role z y and a now all these structural genes in the process of transcription produces like mrna and like mrna in the process of translation produces the enzyme beta galactosidase permease and trans acetylase uh, now coming to the definition of afferents the cluster of genes with related function is called as operons and they transcribe single messenger rna now in e coli there are about 260 genes which are grouped into 75 different operons now structure of operon operon is a unit of gene expression and unit of gene regulation which includes structural genes and their control element and this control element consists of promoter and operator now let's study p stands for promoter and this promoters are the site where rna polymerase binds during transcription you can see rna polymerase it binds to the promoter and these are the signal sequence in dna that starts rna synthesis o is the operator an operator is present between promoter and structural genes the repressor proteins it binds to the operator region and this happens if lactose is absent like operon is off you can see here the repressor protein binds to the operator region so rna polymerase cannot binds to the operator region i is the regulatory genes and this regulatory genes it forms repressor proteins and this repressor protein binds to the operator region if lactose is absent now if lactose is absent regulatory genes by the process of transcription produce repressor mrna repressor mrna produce repressor proteins and these repressor proteins binds to the operator region so rna polymerase cannot binds to the operator region 
and prevents RNA polymerase from transcribing to the operator. Now if lactose is present, regulatory genes by transcription produce repressor mRNA which further produce repressor protein. Now here lactose is an inducer, it inactivate the repressor protein. The repressor protein cannot bind to the operator region. So here RNA polymerase binds to the operator region like operon is on. So your structural genes by the process of transcription produce like mRNA which by translation produce beta galactosidase, permease and transacetylase. So this happens if lactose is present, glucose is absent. Now the lac that is lactose operon it was proposed by Van Kois Jacob and J. Monard. They explained gene expression and gene regulation in E. coli. Lactoperon is on when glucose is absent and lactose is present. Whereas like operon is off when glucose is present. Lactose present or absent doesn't make any difference. And since like operon is off, Enzymes for lactose metabolism are not formed.